So you do gaming gamer dude to K and today we're playing some uh Man of seventeen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's that time of year. It's fourth and it's fourth and inches. It's four and for pitches. Give it to my running back so I can juke all around you. So you best come to play with your best hit stick skills. Cause I'm the this is my best rushing drill. Cause I just got a first down in your team's town. So you better sit down, cause I'm going all the way to the touchdown. To touchdown and dance all around you. You don't stand a chance. Well and I bet you can't land a sack on me. Welcome to Madden 17. Ooh, yeah, let's play some Madden 17. Madden 17. Yeah, we're playing the Madden 17 for the 360. Play some uh, to make the franchise. Yeah, to make the franchise. Like that. Oh, check out some. Yeah. Shoot him offline. Yeah, an offline, uh, an online, an offline uh, franchise mode. Open Let's create a quick game right here. I think I'll pick one of the Tony Roma, the Cowboy. Take uh, a a player one. Active not the player. Active player. Yeah. Let's see. Um, where's the Cowboys? Cowboys. Uh, Cowboys. There it is. about start. Yeah. Uh, oh nice. Uh, Cowboys versus Rams. Cowboys versus LA Rams. Cowboys rounds. Cowboys rounds. Yeah, here we go. Sure, like, like a uh, last week, Tony Romo got hit. Like, got hit and uh, he got sacked, and then he's gonna be out for like six to ten weeks. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty sad. Yeah, the sad news for the for us Cowboys fans. Yeah, they got hit hardy. Broke his back. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, he broke his back pretty bad. Romo broke his back. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Another exciting. set this time and they'll feed Morris here and they're going to lose yardage here and after the play on the ground that brings up second down here short drop and he 
he's able to bring it in. That time to stop by Johnson. People like to see sacks and big hits in the open field, but sometimes the bend and don't break philosophy works awfully well for a defense. They still have to find a way to score points. And as long as you're not giving those up, you're doing just fine. So the offense dealing with a third and six. They're gonna head back to the air. Left it short and it's incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shoot. First and ten. He makes a catch, and he knows where to go to pick up the first. For all you young defenders out there, when you're in zone defense, you have to know where your holes are and find a way to adjust when the offense tries to attack them. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Running play to Morris. So a nice chunk of yardage there before he's taken down to the ground. Second down and four. Quick drop this time. Now the ball's on the ground. So here are the Rams now under head coach Jeff Fisher. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. A tall, angular quarterback who always looks like he could use some additional pounds. He has a great toughness about him. He started 37 straight games in college, going back to his first start as a true freshman. And he picks up seven yards. And that's the kind of pass that adds up over time, Brandon. You may not have picked up a first down there, but if you keep chipping away at it, eventually big plays may result. So we're through one quarter of play. Still three upon us when we get back. A break in the action. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back now, it's the NFL. And this game comes to an end here today, partner. Yeah, we get to shake hands and say goodbye until the next time, as do the teams on the field. They'll just hug it out and move on. Dallas defeats LA 13 and 33. Yeah. 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 13. First Dolphins. Thank you. 
play a regular match. Yeah. Play now. Yeah. So that was uh that was uh so that was connect the franchise like it's like a simulation. Yeah. Pretty cool. Cowboys versus Cowboys versus Green Bay, Green Bay in a uh, in pro mode. Cowboys versus Green Bay. Bring it, bring it, Green Bay. Bring it, Green Bay. Even bring it, Green Bay. Go Cowboys. Go Cowboys. Most improved, uh, the most improved NFL team. Uh, this year. Packers, Cowboys, coming to you from the billion-dollar home of the Cowboys, AT&T Stadium, the site for today's game. He kicks it away, and we are underway on EA Sports. And the return goes to the 17-yard line. That's where the tackle's made. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the veteran Tony Romo. I enjoy watching him play. When he's in rhythm, when he's locked in, when things are going right, it almost looks like he's just slinging it downfield. And he does that with accuracy and touch and really knows how to inspire his team. So the quarterback hits the receiver, and they're able to beat the man coverage. Nice look downfield, able to go over the top and complete the pass. The offense back to the line after the completion for a first. So some extra tonnage out there on the jumbo set. They'll try the handoff. And a really nice game. And many use the running game like boxers do. Body blow after body blow after body blow. You may not get what you want early, but those add up, and by the fourth quarter, you could break a big one. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. And give the tackle there to Julius Peppers. And that carry will earn them the first down. A little bit of leverage there. The low man won and the at the point of attack with the offensive lineman creating space for the runner. And on first and ten now. Keeping it on the ground this play. He's brought down at the 38. Here's the offense, and I don't know what more you can say at this point in his career about Jason Witten. You just give him full respect. This is a guy who knows how to do everything on the football field. Not just catch the ball, but huge in the run game with his blocking at the line of scrimmage. Able to dance around for some yards. And as always, the starting lineups have been brought to you by Head & Shoulders. 
Shoulders were made for greatness, not dandruff. Julius Pepper, some would call him the grand old man. He'd hate that. He'd just want to be a seasoned veteran who continues to make plays at a Pro Bowl level. They'll put it in the belly of the running back. And there's the tackle, but there's also a first down for the offense. That's what the offense would call a hard, dirty run. Everyone knew it was coming, but they still found a way to pick up the first down. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. And the offense here with a jumbo set in. Three-step drop, and it's complete. Witten's going to bring him down, but not before they get the first. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. And on first down. And it's first down, but they're going to try to sling it again. And he brings it in. And the play ends there thanks to Shields. That was not a completion that results in a highlight video. But at the same time, if you have those kind of completions all game long, eventually one of them might turn into a highlight. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. Running play. And he'll try to navigate through the big bodies up the middle. Get some yards, not a whole lot there. Really nice setup by the runner. Actually got the defender off balance, and then he fires out a stiff arm to allow him to pick up additional yardage. The offense will operate from the pistol. They'll go on the ground. And now it is fourth down after that stop. And typically, the defenders are the ones that dish out the punishment. On this one, we see the runner do exactly that with a perfectly legal, well-executed stiff arm. Oh, yes, it's still in the game. And an aggressive play call here. It looks like the offense is going to go for it on fourth down. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, and it'll back him up five yards. Delay of game, offense. And the offense will settle for three. And the ball sails through the uprights for three points. And obviously that field goal that propels the team into the lead is nice, but there's still plenty of time to go here. And everyone is lined up for the kickoff. He's going to elect to run this one out. And the return here gets him right around the 24-yard line. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by a five-time Pro Bowler. Out of Cal, it's Aaron Rodgers. There's nothing like being overlooked that marries up with great talent that turns out a tremendous ball player. And I think Aaron Rodgers epitomizes that. Didn't get many looks coming out of high school. Had to go to junior college. Was sensational at Cal. And then bypassed in the early part of the first round. And now, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the league. So first down here after the completion. Handoff to Eddie Lacy. Taken to the ground, but not before a good pickup for the offense. First quarter done. Will quarter number two bring more points? We'll see so far. It's an offensive struggle. Defense is dominating. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The offense staying ahead of the chains here. Second and three. A play fake here. He and nobody left to beat. He's in the clear. And the Packers are in for the score. And that 
drive happen quickly, which is great because they score the points, but then their defense has to come right back out on the field. It is exciting, isn't it, for the offense to do that? The defense is saying, okay, that's cool, but let's not make it a habit. We need to get some rest sometime. And the extra point kick is good. Everyone getting lined up, and it looks like we are just about set to rock. He's going to try and return this one from the end zone. And he's going to be tackled down at the 16, so four yards inside the 20. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. To the ground. Tackle by Clinton Dix. It's not something you see on every play, but when a runner gets the opportunity to fire a stiff arm, meaning taking his hand and putting it out on a defender and then extending it to create space between him and the defender in order to gain additional yardage, it's an excellent play when used correctly. Only a three-step drop, and it is complete. And a good chunk of yardage is gained on the play. The defense tried to disguise their coverage as long as possible, but eventually it was read as man. That allowed the quarterback to find his number one target, his all-star playmaker. Excellent execution, big time completion. And now after the catch, the offense with a fresh set of downs. Some bigger bodies now. They're going with a jumbo set. And on first down, they go right back to the air. And now they get into enemy territory across the 50. Charles on the slant. You always need good ball placement. They got it there. Brandon, the quarterback, put it in the exact perfect spot, right to the upfield shoulder of the receiver, and he used his body to keep the defender away. And on first down, they're going to look to throw. He had it, but could not hold on. A little bit of relief there for the defense. They thought a catch was about to result. Instead, it's a play for them. Second down following the incompletion. They'll try the passing game again. Middle of the field throw, and the pass is incomplete. He left it short. Whether they deserve credit or not, the defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always feels good when you slow down an offense. A pistol look this time. Great concentration to knock it away. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. The defense holds serve there on the incompletion, and now the special teams unit out for the punt. Getting set on first down. Shotgun snap. Goes right side. And that ball probably should have been picked off, but instead incomplete. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. 319, Shotgun snap here. Tries over the middle, and it's complete. And a good chunk of yardage there. And he was able to find a very soft spot in that zone coverage. I love that term, Brandon. That soft spot where you find the open area, set up, and catch the football before the hard collision comes afterwards. Three yards left to grab here on third down. The snap from the gun. The ball swatted away. 
And the pass incomplete there. Very good man coverage. I remember when coaches used to put the best athletes on the field on defense. They're putting them all on offense, and most of them are at receiver. And the stop comes near the 42-yard line. The best returners are always shifty guys, and they tend to make the first guy miss, but he was unable to do so on this play. Well covered by the punting team. And on first down, it's a handoff this time. Tackle by Clinton Dix. Really nice setup by the runner. Actually got the defender off balance, and then he fires out a stiff arm to allow him to pick up additional yardage. So second down, three yards to go now. Not much daylight there. Whatever was there snuffed out quickly. And typically, the defenders are the ones that dish out the punishment. On this one, we see the runner do exactly that with a perfectly legal, well-executed stiff arm. Oh, yes, it's still in the game. So third down, just one yard to go. The handoff, the tackle there, but not before the first down is gained. That was a key play right there. A missed opportunity by the defense to get off the field on third down. We all knew they were going to run the ball, yet they were unable to stop it. And on first down. And back to the ground they go on first down. And able to pick up some good yardage. Brandon, that's a body blow type of a run. The type of run that if you keep getting them and accumulating them throughout the game, that'll really wear a defense down as we get to the fourth quarter. Second and two. They'll try the run. Eddie's hit right away. As this game continues, the offensive line has to do a better job of creating space for the running back. Third down. Handoff up the middle. And he's wrangled down, but not before picking up the first. That's what the offense would call a hard, dirty run. Everyone knew it was coming, but they still found a way to pick up the first down. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. And they'll go with a two tight end look. And a quick drop. And a nice grab there for the reception. And down he goes, just shy, it looks, of that first down marker. Offense readies for a second and one. And he brings it in for the catch. And he's brought down by Matthews. There were a couple holes there, partner. Was that zone coverage? It's exactly what it was, Brandon. When you see man-to-man, -man, that defender runs with the receiver. In this case, they were just taking care of their zone coverages, their responsibilities on the field, and the offense found the open space. Touchdown, Dallas Cowboys! Traffic jam on the interstate there. He had to put it right on the dime, and the quarterback delivered the receiver caught. Okay, we just saw that. How did he get it through there? It was well defended, arms all around, but he finds the one opening and fits it in. The PAT is up, and the PAT is good. In the kickoff team, they all appear set. He's gonna bring this one out. So not the best outcome there as the return gets him to the 16 yard line. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. On 
the ground with Lacey. To the right side. Down he goes. Really poor clock management there by the runner. Less than two minutes to go in the first half. You've got a chance to get out of bounds. That's what you need to do. They're going to lose time after that play. So the offense looking at a second and eight. Hand off to Eddie Lacy. And this time the stop made by Barry Church. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, one half in the books, and here we go with quarter number three. So he's going to bring it out of the end zone. And he's brought down right around the 23. That's where the return is. And on first down, the give to the back, running up the middle. So he's finally brought down, but not before a really good game. It's not something you see on every play, but when a runner gets the opportunity to fire a stiff arm, meaning taking his hand and putting it out on a defender and then extending it to create space between him and the defender in order to gain additional yardage, it's an excellent play when used correctly. And a good carry to move the chains. Excellent job by the running back by dropping his shoulder and powering his way forward. So the run gets him the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. And he's tackled for the sack and the loss. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. And a big tight end shifting around. And it's caught. And there's a stop by Church. He did a good job completing the pass, but obviously not good enough because they did not pick up the first down. And the offense needs seven out of this play on third down. Shotgun formation. And makes a catch past the first down marker. A good catch there and a first down for the offense. Excellent awareness by the receiver to know where the first down marker was. So here we go, first and 10 now. From the shotgun. Nearly picked off, but he dropped it. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for it now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Little motion now from the tight end. Takes a snap out of the gun. And he wrangles in the football for a nice grab. Brandon, that's a good job by the defense. They gave up a completion, but they got the stop short of the first down marker. Third and nine. They'll operate from the gun. Rodgers heaves this thing downfield. Intercepted. And he's hit and stopped. Nice interception by the defense on a poor pass. Now the offense has to shake that off and come back ready to go on their next series. Back deep in their own territory. The give to the running back. He's got some yards. Really nice setup by the runner. Actually got the defender off balance, and then he fires out a stiff arm to allow him to pick up additional yardage. Second down following the run. And an extra tight end on the field now. 
Short drop, tries the left side. Tackle by Clinton Dix. And the receiver, Charles, just got inside the coverage there. Used his body, got inside, and kept the defender away from the pass. Getting set on first down. Here's the give, runs up the middle and picks up some nice yardage. Ah yes, this is where the expression staying ahead of the chains comes into play. Good runs like that one set you up well for third down. Three yards to go here on second down. So the tackle is made, but he's beyond the first down marker. The way they're moving the ball on offense now somewhere, Coach Hank Stram is grinning. Just matriculating the ball down the field, boys. So the offense has it first and 10. And they'll stick with a ground game on first down. Able to dance around for some yards. They've been giving up big gains throughout this game. Finally, they bottle him up. Perhaps this is the spark they needed moving forward. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. 75% of the way home in regulation. Three quarters down, one to go, and we'll get to that last one after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see, second and nine. Able to pick up some good yardage. Everyone's looking for the big runs, the explosive runs, the 20 to 30 yard plays. But anytime you're picking up good yardage and setting yourself up on down and distance, offenses love that too. Get ready. And it's a handoff between the tackles. And there's the tackle, but there's also a first down for the offense. That was a key play right there. A missed opportunity by the defense to get off the field on third down. We all knew they were going to run the ball, yet they were unable to stop it. They'll keep it on the turf. Tackle by Clinton Dix. And typically, the defenders are the ones that dish out the punishment. On this one, we see the runner do exactly that with a perfectly legal, well-executed stiff arm. Oh, yes, it's still in the game. Here's the give. A tackle there, but not before the first down is gained. And a nice run there to pick up the first down. Good understanding by the runner of knowing where the first down line was and getting there. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. And the give back to the ground. Coverage there in a hurry. And down he goes immediately. It's not something you see on every play. But when a runner gets the opportunity to fire a stiff arm, meaning taking his hand and putting it out on a defender and then extending it to create space between him and the defender in order to gain additional yardage, it's an excellent play when used correctly. Just got ahead of himself there, Brandon. Tried to run before he secured the ball. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. And he's able to haul it in. And the play ends there thanks to Shields. Wow, that was really good timing there between the quarterback and the receiver on that slant route. And this seemingly endless drive continues. The handoff to the back. Tackled down at the 15. Offense has been out there a while. This is their 14th play in this series. Getting late here in the fourth, and if this team has any chance to win this football game, their defense obviously needs a stop here. Offensive line gets good push, and they pick up the first down. And the defenders couldn't hold the point of attack, and that created the space needed for the offense to pick up the first down. So it'll be first down here after the run. Oh, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Tackle by Clinton Dix. A timeout here to try to preserve the time. That's why they take the T.O. This is a situation that actually tests an offensive play caller. Take that big play sheet you have in front of you and narrow it down. Don't get cute. Go to what usually works. 
And the give. Up the middle. And a touchdown there on the short run. And that drive we just saw that culminated in the touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. And the extra point try is converted. And we are teed up and ready to go. And in the end zone, he'll take it, and he won't return it. Receivers really stacked up on this play. Screen play here, and it's complete. And the defense stops him after just a few yards. Second down now after the pass completion. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Catches the snap out of a gun. And it's batted away by the defense. Charles, if you're the quarterback there, it's tough to maintain poise with pressure coming in your face. In this case, I think he'll take incomplete as opposed to being hit from behind and a fumble result. Snap comes back out of the shotgun formation. And that one almost taken away by the defense, but it falls innocently to the ground. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Shotgun formation. Brandon, every game we do, we always ask if everyone's healthy and 100%. You know no one's 100% once the whistle blows. Everyone's going to get a few bumps and bruises as the game goes along. So first and 10. From the gun. Good throw, good catch, and now he's able to pick up the first down as well. Hold up here, laundry down. Let's see what the penalty's for. And it is complete. He caught it. Offside defense. Defense may be trying to guess the snap count there, and it costs them five yards. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll operate from the gun. And he's going to be brought down. He took a hit on that last play. Now let's see how he and the offense respond on second. The snap from the gun. He makes the play, and now nobody is at a late score here in this one. No other way to say it. That was a big-time touchdown right there. But now everything rides on the onside kick. They have to have it in order to have one last chance. And they cap the touchdown with the extra point. And they will line up here for the onside kick. So a nice chunk of yardage there before he's taken down to the ground. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. And they'll set up out of the pistol. And he's able to haul it in. And this timeout to conserve time here, that's why they take the T.O. 
And on that play, it was a picture-perfect corner route that was greeted by an equally good throw. The offense back to the line after the completion for a first. And the jumbo set here on the field. This time a handoff. Brought down by Peppers. Second down and three. And the give, moving up the middle. And he is tackled, hardly anything there. And when we head out to the game, Charles, we hope for these battles, a fantastic one here that we witnessed. If you had no rooting interest in the game, it was a terrific game. Both teams played well. Unfortunately, only one could win. And Charles, when you pull out a close game, the good thing about that is maybe next time you're in a nail biter in the fourth quarter, you have a little more confidence. Yeah, you're talking about your memory muscles, right? When you win those close ones, you have that confident feeling that you can continue to do so every time you're in that position. Now that said, you would rather win by 60 points or do you like the close ones too? Well, I think everyone would rather win by 60. It's comfortable, everyone gets to play. But when you win those nail biters, dinner tastes just a little bit better that night. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.